you had to have had a physical trauma. And what I mean by a physical trauma, is something that you remember doing that caused an immediate pain. So if something happened, you slipped, you got up, your back hurt. You went to lift a piano, it was heavier than you thought, you pulled something, you felt it right away. So that's a physical trauma that led to your pain. So we have to look for that first. The second thing is you have also a trauma, but it's an overuse trauma. Okay, but what I mean by overuse is it's something your body is not used to that you're now doing a lot. My classic example, if you're in an office job and all you do is sit eight hours a day, and now I ask you to get a new job and your job is hammering nails on wood eight hours a day, your hand, elbow, shoulder is now going to be overused. Those muscles are not used to hammering nails on wood. So you're gonna get pain from overuse of that entire side for the first couple of days, couple of weeks of being in that new job. However, one of the great things about our body is that there's this thing called the overload principle, which in, in fitness and, and working out, it's how you and I, regardless of how little we work out, can develop muscles. Because when we push the muscle to do something it's not used to, those weaker muscles will tear and it will be replaced with stronger muscle fibers, which is why all of you sitting in this room, if you really wanted to work out and be a bodybuilder, in one year with a personal trainer can be a bodybuilder, regardless of your age. You see, because the body has this amazing uh, ability to adapt to the stresses that you put on it in order to make itself stronger than previous. So what was hard for you to lift once or twice in the beginning, after six months of working with a personal trainer, you gotta, you have to raise that the, the weight because that becomes easy and your body starts to show the development. So that's the overload principle. That same principle is what's at play when we look at the second cause of pain. So the first cause is there has to be a mechanical issue here, a physical trauma or an overuse to something your body's not used to. If you can't think of any of that, You've worked in that company for 30 years, you've sat at that same office job for 20 years, you've worked in construction for 30 years, then it can't be that your pain is because of anything here. The second cause, there has to be an emotional conflict tied to your symptoms. Usually that makes sense because I tell them, if it's here, that's easy. You're gonna know what happened that caused it. If you can't think of one, then it's probably this. And then I go into the conflict shock and introducing them to an unexpected event that happened prior to your symptoms showing up. Because as we learned, it's in the conflict, sorry, it's in the healing phase that the actual pain starts. 